Oh, dear. This is going very badly, isn't it? It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Ah. The charming and delightful Fry Twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third-rate lurid stories. Penny dreadfuls, if you will. And this is little Artie. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. There's one unfolding just here. Perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. so delightfully entertaining, don't you? I mean, solving crimes, of course. Finding a solution is exhilarating. I arrived to find the foreman dead, and the lad duly with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. They're a rough bunch. But someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. Well now, I didn't ask about this. When I come back, the man's lying dead, and there's Dooley holding a knife. Please don't arrest him. I was standing there, having a think, when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him, and he thrashes Dooley. I run out to find help. That's Dooley's knife, all right. He never lent it to nobody. He knocked me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself, and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on, I wakes up, and the man's lying there, dead. He's my brother. He don't like to work hard, so one of the workers give him a thrashing. I tried to stop it, and he stops saying bug and starts hitting me. Me? No! Oh, no, no, no. Not so quickly. You have indeed solved this murder, according to the facts at hand. However, Artie, what advice would you give? I would encourage you to look beyond the obvious. Beyond surface appearances. Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. Examine some of the clues more closely. Wilkins wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights trying to stop that sort of thing. The fumes can be a bit much in the brewery. When the men work in there, they wear bandanas.
Me and Wilkins was working out here. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself, and there he was, dead. I didn't stick around. Somebody might think I'd done it. The strange thing is, Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Some of the clues more closely. Well, I was inside the brewery all day. I wear me bandana in there. Man has to, what with all the smells and fumes. I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor? Cigarette might be his. smoking months ago. You know, I saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning. Didn't see who it was, though. But like I said, I was inside. Didn't get a chance to come out to smoke. Colton left, though. You can talk to him. He's working in the loading area just now. if someone could tell me more about this. Look for more clues. I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. I don't smoke. Never did. Oh, very well. So I do smoke now and then. What's the matter? I should be foreman here. Wilkins coddled the boys like a mother hen. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. That was much more difficult than it initially appeared. Well done. Up to the clink with you. Thank you. 